Uh, hello, good morning, uh, family, Philip family. It's a real pleasure being here today to make a few comments about the first impressions of Fire 300 uh, technology. I've been working in cardiac CMR for more than a decade and I had the opportunity to test different Philip technologies. Actually, I am in uh, Sao Paulo Hospital uh, and we have achieved this, this stream 1.5 and 3 Tesla and the Ingenia Lithium 3 Tesla. And in Sarat Core Hospital, we started performing cardiac CMR from scratch with an uh, Intera 1.5 Tesla. And you would surprise the image quality we obtained beside it is a 10 year old technology. And of course, the recently arrival of 5300 MRI opened us new opportunities. So Sarat Core Hospital is a second level hospital, but with an elderly population that requires reserve technology with adaptive cap capabilities, and I would say that at the moment, 5300 CMR is up to the task. Uh, the kickoff was kickoff was in February at the uh, Yana. Today we have performed approximately 90 cardiac cases of different complexity, and the very first day was really interesting because when you see technicians who share many many hours a day with the machine make a tiny smile in the moment they notice that the daily work will be more fluid and easy going, you understand that the relevance of the small things that, that makes life better. The work interface design, not only to facilitate technicians work, but also to favor patient comfort, are uh, usually forgotten and to me are part of the general concept of technology designed for efficiency. And in this sense, being able to perform the positioning setting and the start of the study from the in-room is an example of efficiency. The vital eye and the brisk coils are other examples of simplifying processes that improve daily workflow. And finally, cardiac, cardiac MRI is special. It requires ECG synchronization and acquisition of images during respiratory apnea. So this implies giving the instruction for each apnea slice by slice during approximately 45 minutes and that is only one of the five, six studies that are performed in each session. So think about it. These people spend five, six hours a day giving the same instruction over and over and over again. So the out of voice not only preserves the mental state of the technicians, but also allows to be uh, optimized, uh, time to be optimized, and the next sequence to be programmed on the fly. So what about cardiac MRI? We currently carry out practically, pra practically all the standard cardiological protocols available. CNA images suitable to study structure and cardiac function, classic T1 and T2 black blood, T1 and T2 mapping sequences that allow quantification of T1 and T2 times to better characterize myocardial tissue, phase contact sequences to study valve fluxes, and geographic sequences to study vascular structures, for example, permeable veins, First pass stress rest perfusion sequences suitable to study current flow limiting stenosis. And of course, the lake adalignum encasement where you can see straightforward white and black necrotic or, or fibrotic tissue. And just regarding these, these sequences, you, you must remember always that white is, is bad. So let's see a few examples. Uh, this is a patient with moderate aortic regurgitation and paroxysmal lateral fibrillation. We perform cardiac function and fluxes in order to quantify aortic regurgitation and also an angiographic study previous to pulmonary vein ablation, which basically involves an intervention to burn myocardial focchiofarrhythmia. And uh, see, look how great the level of detail is. You can see all the pulmonary veins and even second and third level branches. So the idea here is to fuse the, the volumetric 3D images with the electroanatomical cardiac maps obtained in the intervention room in order to guide the catheter burn. So we are talking about precision on a scale of millimeters. So you can imagine the importance and the great need for excellent quality MRI images. Of course, we also study cardiomyopathies by CMR. And this is a case of a 23 year old young man with basal ACG abnormalities submitted to further study by MRI. Uh, standard cardiomyopathy protocols include cardiac structure, of course, and function, uh, inversion recovery IG sequences and mappings. And look at the scene. Note, note the asymmetrical anterior hypertrophic myocardium 
with normal LV function and no LV outdrug blood flow obstruction. And in the LG images, it is easy to see a huge compact adolinium focus matching the segment with the greatest hypertrophy. So this is a fibrotic tissue and of course has prognosti uh, prognostic uh, implications. So CIMA is a really central image modality to restratify uh, cardiomyopathies. Also in this case, T1 map firstly help us to discard other possible differential diagnoses mimicking hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, for example, amyloidosis or power disease, which are pathologies with completely different treatment and prognosis, and T2 confirm no presence of myocardial edema or myocardial inflammation. So definitely the multiparametric power of CMR allow us to identify in the same study many aspects of, of complex pathologies. So finally, another daily MRI study request are patients complaining from acute or, or chronic chest pain. In this example, CINE sequences show us an inferior myocardial motion abnormality with moderate LV dysfunction, and we could say that evidently something bad has happened to this muscle. And in the LG images, we will in white a subendocardial infarction. So in this case, we arrive late because scar is already there, but maybe more myocardial tissue is in danger and needs to be saved. So the protocol is complete with first pass perfusion sequence at, uh, sequence at stress compared to rest images, and an extensive inducible perfusion defect was revealed in the inferior and lateral territory, denoting a coronary flow limited stenosis in two cardiac territories that should be treated to prevent further damage. So to wrap up, I would say that cardiac MRI is a unique study that has high impact in patient management, but to do so, MRI needs to adapt to patient's complexity. And I really believe that 5300 Philip MRI has great qualities in this way. Easy and fast patient setup, very robust sequences, and in the very first day with minimal adjustments, we organize almost every cardiac protocol with these excellent quality images I just shared with you. And even more relevant, it has the entire wide range of consistent sequences needed to cover all the type clinical needs. So what about the future? Maybe the next step is to make CMR more available in terms of the time that is required to perform a study and probably less dependency in acquisition, processing and interpretation to further standardize the whole process. And in this matter, may, maybe um, EA is giving us some solutions making protocol faster with the same or better image quality. So that's what I want to share with you today. And thank you very much and keep up pushing technology to another level.